What is going on everybody, Sanka here back once again with another video just for you. Friendly reminder as always, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. It has been a while since we talked about an article from the Mary Sue on this channel. There's a side of me that believes like it's cheap or cheating in some kind of way to pick on articles from the Mary Sue. Mostly because it makes our jobs as commentators just so goddamn easy. And then there's a side of me that is cheap, that does feel like cheating, that wanted to go see exactly what is pissing off or making the Mary Sue happy nowadays, because you know either one's going to be oh so sweet. Oh shit, well once in a blue moon they're happy about something. Let's see what it is. Captain Marvel takes on toxic masculinity in new deleted scene. Don't tell her to smile, says Chelsea Steiner. Oh that's for damn sure, to these whack jobs that's a form of sexual harassment, so definitely don't do that. Captain Marvel may still be lingering in theaters, but if you want to watch it from the comfort of your own couch, good news! The film is coming to digital download May 28th and the Blu-ray will be released on June 11th. The Blu-ray comes with 6 deleted scenes and plenty of bonus featurettes and behind the scenes content. God damn, I can't wait. My balls literally cannot contain my excitement. We've already seen a very cute deleted scene of Carol, Jan Rog, and some baby Kree recruits. The scene is charming but doesn't give us much new information beyond what we already know. You think maybe that's why they deleted it? I don't know, just a shot in the dark, I think that's maybe why they deleted it. However, the newly released scene, What No Smile, delivers exactly what we want from Captain Marvel. Namely, Carol kicking ass and taking down the patriarchy. Yes, that goddamn patriarchy, it needs to go down. The scene is extended to reveal what happens between the biker asking her to smile and Carol making off with his bike. We meet the biker, who calls himself the Don, repeatedly ask Carol smile- what? Repeatedly ask Carol smile and offer her a ride on his bike. Copy editor, God damn it. She offers him a super powered handshake, which quickly brings the creep to his knees. Here's a proposition for you. You're going to give me your jacket, your helmet, and your motorcycle, and in return, I'm going to let you keep your hand. After the Don acquiesces, Carol asks, what no smile as he runs off. So obviously this is a re-upload. In the original video, this is where I played the deleted scene. But because Disney and Marvel are little bitches and blocking videos that talk shit about it, I'm just gonna break down the scene here, the non-Mary Sue way. I'll have a link down below so you can watch the deleted scene, but here's the breakdown of it. Doogie Queen of the MCU is looking at what looks like a map. Biker pulls up, he's like, nice scuba suit. She looks, does not respond, you hear the biker approaching. He goes, you need a ride, darling? Pushes the map down so he can see her face. She just looks at him and he's like, how about a smile for me, huh? And she's like, a smile? And he responds, yeah, I'm offering to help you. The least that you can do for me is give me a smile. She looks angry at this point, puts the map away, and she's like, how about a handshake? They shake hands, she's like, I'm Veers, and then he's like, they call me the Don. She's like, wow. And then at this point, she like, superpower tortures him, brings him to his knees. Then with the best delivery of all time, she goes, here's a proposition for you. You're going to give me your jacket, your helmet, and your motorcycle, and in return, I'm going to let you keep your hand. And then he's like, alright, take it. He runs away, and then she's like, what, no smile? And then I think she steals clothes from a mannequin or something, which had nothing to do with the situation, just more thievery. Then as she pulls out onto the wrong side of the road, almost causes a multi-vehicle accident as she almost runs straight into a car, head-on collision style. But yeah, check out the deleted scene so you can see that wonderful delivery of that line. It's just so goddamn good. But that's all that I've changed. Everything moving forward is assuming you've seen the deleted scene. You see what I mean? That delivery is just mm, so good. Here's a proposition for you. What a fucking hero, dude. What a hero. Given that the scene is barely a minute long yet so satisfying, it's surprising that it ended up on the cutting room floor. Frankly, I would watch two hours of Carol just slapping around gross dudes, but maybe I'm biased. Not at all. Part of the appeal of a female superhero is seeing her answer everyday acts of sexism and harassment with superpowered aplomb. It's wish fulfillment that every woman can get behind. Amen, sister. Amen. Alright, let's be real now. It's not any goddamn surprise why this did not make it into the final product. Now, the dude's clearly a douchebag, but at the end of the day, all he did was ask her to smile. She didn't say no. She didn't tell him to fuck off or anything like that. Just a smile? How about a handshake? And that's where the problem comes with this deleted scene. If there was something in between where she hinted or signified that she is not interested, just say not interested, and he still pushes, that's when it's like, okay, I'm completely on your side now if you choose to do anything to this dude. 
The whole robbery thing though, I could get on board maybe if this were an anti-hero of sorts like the Punisher or something, Deadpool. But you're trying to convince me that a superhero that's supposed to be on the super goody goody two shoes side of the fence is just gonna go and rob a civilian? Like really? Cause it's very simple, you just have to flip the script and see if it would've worked with somebody else in the scene. Would Deadpool have done it? Yeah, probably. Would Frank Castle have done it? Mm, if he had evidence that the guy was a criminal. Would Captain America have done it? Obviously not. Would Iron Man? No, of course not. So if you're trying to portray Carol Danvers as one of those, like Cap or Iron Man, someone who is supposed to be on the lawful good side of things, that is not how you portray it. Again, completely different story if you just had her say no at any point. And therein lies the problem that just the fact that she was asked to smile is the form of harassment as it is. But who wrote that dialogue? I mean, who talks like that? You need a ride, darling? How about a smile for me, huh? Like, what the fuck is that? The Don is essentially a caricature of how SJWs view white males. Nobody talks like that, and if they do, I just feel sorry for them. Because that's just reaching new levels of pathetic that I previously did not know existed. The scene's awful, portrays Carol as a goddamn villain, that's why they cut it. I have no idea why these whack jobs at the Mary Sue are celebrating it. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and share it with your friends, family, whoever you think would be interested in nonsense like this. And subscribe, ring that notification bell and click that always so you can always be alerted every time I put out another one of these beef carpaccios. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.